Hello ladies and gentlemen welcome back to exotic astrology and some of you had requested me to show one chart where there's some dishonesty pertaining to relationships so here is one beautiful chart to illustrate this example beautiful in the way that it works perfectly for this example all right so we will see some of the combinations which can make a person cheat within relationships and uh, now some of you might have these combinations but that does not mean that you are a cheater or your spouse will cheat on you there are many other things which are to be seen i am not revealing the degrees in this chart neither am i revealing the birth details the information pertaining to dashas and the divisional charts because they finally give us the ultimate answer of why the things happen not just this chart okay and then there are many other charts like the d7 the d9 which we check for relationships but here i'm just giving a basic analysis to illustrate the certain facts which i would like to stress here and by that you can uh, understand how to approach the chart okay so when we are going through this then we will ignore certain details like career health and marriage etc because this is to show some dishonesty within relationship so this is the chart of a male and this person has been extremely dishonest in uh, his relationships with women and he always has a tendency to cheat and uh, get things done from other women and then later what he says he doesn't do so there you go if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation regarding your marriage your health your career or any other problem that you are facing in life either astrological or non astrological then you can always book a reading with me you can go to my website you will find the link of the website in the description of this video below okay and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him so now let's see the most important planet in this chart the most important planet in this chart is we have to see the kendra houses in the kendra you will see that there is one planet which is in digbala directional strength so saturn is the one which is sitting in the 7th house and we all know that saturn gets directional strength in the 7th house okay so that means none other none of the other planets venus sun and mercury are in any kind of directional strength except saturn so that means saturn will dominate this kendra and when saturn associates with certain houses or with certain house lords a tendency to speak lies can come okay now which is which are the houses and planets which are related to speech we all know it is mercury and jupiter okay because they deal with uh, our speech and what we speak and what we communicate and if you take house wise it is the second house all right so the second lord will also come into picture here so in this chart you see that saturn is the significator of lies and deceit in any chart of course so now he, here you see saturn is aspecting jupiter with its third aspect saturn aspects the third seventh and the tenth house from wherever it sits so if you see here saturn is aspecting jupiter and it is also conjunct mercury which is the ruler of the second house so not only uh, mercury is the second lord mercury is also the fifth lord here in this chart because uh, and that is why it is a very auspicious planet but when it associates with saturn here some form of malefic influence comes over it all right now uh, you will see that the lagna lord is venus here because it's number 2 in the ascendant it's not the second house it is the first house the sign taurus is there so venus is the lagna lord which is situated with saturn so the lagna lord and the second lord are involved with saturn here so this also aggravates the problem of speaking lies so you can take saturn and mercury to some extent for lies and saturn aspecting jupiter and the second lord is also mercury here and venus being associated with it adds to the problem now this would have not been that difficult if 
sun would not be here but the problem is sun is also there in this chart in this in the seventh house so sun and saturn are known to cause friction in wherever they are sitting or wherever they are aspecting so all the friction is coming related to the second uh, to the seventh house which is the house of marriage and relationships then if you see in the chart you will see the ruler of the seventh house now scorpio has two lords one is mars the other one is ketu so the seventh lords mars and ketu both are situated in the sixth house sixth house is 12th from the seventh house so whenever the seventh house is connected to the sixth house sometimes if other combinations prevail and if the whole chart supports the tendency of the person is to break the relationship after getting into the relationship so here mars is the lord and it's sitting in the sixth house and ketu you can also take as the lord it is also sitting in the sixth house so this further adds to the to the problem the, the so the tendency of this person is that the person always falls in love or uh, gets things to make other women fall in love with him how do you see that you see the the sixth house has a planet moon which means uh, there will be a lot of attraction uh, when it comes to love and romance but more important than that is the sixth lord uh, the fifth lord which is mercury here is sitting in the seventh house okay so the fifth house has a benefic and the fifth lord is in the seventh so when the fifth lord is in the seventh or the seventh lord is in the fifth uh, this can create too many love affairs so here the person falls first falls in love and then the seventh lord which ultimately tells what is happening to the relationship that lord is sitting in the sixth house so it's like once you get from the fifth house to the seventh house you are going to the sixth house so from fifth love it's converting to a relationship then it is going into breakup and because sun and saturn are involved here so and the lagna lord is venus so sometimes people say that oh we will cheat or the spouse will cheat how do you know it's very simple just check who is involved in the process is the lagna lord involved or the seventh lord involved because the lagna lord is the person so here venus itself is conjunct this saturn mercury so because of that he himself is the one who is doing all this cheating and the seventh lord is not directly involved here okay i mean it will it will always be involved because it's ruling this house but it is not involved with this saturn and mercury you see although here the other problem in this chart is the sixth lord which is also venus is also in the seventh house okay so the sixth lord is in the seventh and the seventh lord is in the sixth so that is again adding to the problem and apart from that this planet person has moon in virgo so whenever a person has moon in virgo if the other combination also support in my experience i have seen is the person finds too many faults so he always has this nature oh she doesn't look good she is not this she is not that he basically wants a perfect person because virgo is the virgin she is perfect so he is also looking for girls who are very perfect physically and by all means okay but that is not all there are many other things in this chart you see here jupiter which is the planet of optimism and good things in life yes and spirituality morals is also debilitated in the chart because it is in the sign of capricorn and unfortunately for a taurus lagna jupiter is also ruling the 8th house so the 8th lord in the 9th or 9th lord in the 8th is never a good placement so jupiter is sitting in this chart in the ninth house although but it is in debility and it is also a ruler of a difficult house so this is not helping the ninth house you see in fact it can cause misfortunes for the ninth house because eighth house is the house of misfortune so apart from this if you see the person also has rahu in the 12th house and 12th house is the house of bad pleasures intimacy and all those things so when rahu is in the 12th there can be some situations where the person can be a bit nefarious that can happen and if you see in this chart jupiter is also doubly afflicted by mars and saturn mars is aspecting jupiter with the fourth aspect and saturn is aspecting jupiter with the third aspect so whenever a planet is under affliction from more than two malefics 
that planet has serious challenges okay and apart from that if you see venus is the natural significator of marriage relationships and how we bond with the opposite sex that planet is also under the uh, planetary combination of sun and saturn so this is a very difficult placement to have and the seventh house itself is having the ruler of the sixth and sun and saturn so whenever sun and saturn are linked with the seventh house the person can feel that the married life is like a bondage depending on other things of course but that is not all we also have to check the signs so these four planets are placed in the karmic sign of scorpio that is another problem scorpio is the original eighth house of the zodiac and it deals with infidelity basically so these planets here are causing this issue here and uh, some of these four planets are in the nakshatra of anuradha within scorpio now anuradha nakshatra in modern context is very famous for getting back with the ex boyfriend or ex girlfriend okay it's very famous for that so in day to day context this has always happened this person will get into a relationship then he will break it then he will say something else and get back with a new person or get back with somebody else who was already in the past so this uh, this dicing from one person to the other and then going back to somebody always keeps happening okay so these are the things which we see so the lagna lord is involved and then sun is involved then saturn is aspecting jupiter and kanjang mercury which is the second lord so these problems can persist and because of this uh, the person always indulges in cheating and uh, doing nefarious activities to get the attention from the opposite sex okay and then at the end nothing happens because the seventh lord has gone to the sixth house so as i said there are multiple combinations here which is supporting all these things so some of you might have one or two combinations and you might write in the comments oh you are lying you are a liar you are a cheater you don't know anything about astrology i have venus in this 7th house in scorpio i am a taurus lagna my 7th lord is in the 6th blah 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 but i am not like this well i already said in the beginning that there are so many things we have ignored panchang and divisional charts and so many other things dashas and so many other things so just because you have similar placements it doesn't mean that you are also a cheater or you are also a liar okay so this video i just created to um, uh, give some awareness about how seeing how to see difficult things like cheating and lying because many times it happens that uh, you want to get married and horoscopes come to you so then you can always go to an astrologer but you can also do some basic analysis from your side okay so if you are seeing similar placements then it can be helpful if you do some background check up for the prospective uh, boy or girl who is coming uh, for you to getting mad to get married okay so th this is why i made and and as i said just because somebody has this don't get judgmental and think that that person is like this uh there are so many combinations in the chart which is giving that ultimately okay so ultimately it's like the whole chart speaks for itself so if all the things are there then maybe you can doubt but if one or two are there then you need not doubt necessarily you have to check moon you have to check jupiter and you have to check the whole chart basically okay so that is it from my side if you like this video then click the thumbs up and if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation you want to know about your marriage your career or health or any other matter in your life then you can always go to my website and you can book a reading with me you will find the link of the website in the description of this video below okay until next time wish you good luck bye bye